dear students, I am here with English Literature class of 6. I am here to continue with the same lesson, lesson number 2. Now comes to plant feed. Yesterday just I had explained to you how did Nat reach the plum field? What did he bring with him? We have seen that he had a letter with him. With this letter, he reaches to plum field school. He reached the plum field school and handed the letter to Mrs. Briar. And yesterday, I just explained the content of this letter. What was the content of the letter? The content of the letter was the boy, Nat. He was sitting near his dead father and his dear lost violin. And he was crying there. In that situation, Mr. Laurent found him. Now today, after reading the letter, what was the feeling of Mrs. Briar towards the boy. She became more sensitive. She became more sensitive towards Nat because she is very motherly. She is motherly in nature. So let me start with the lesson. Of course we will pride Mrs. Briar as she read the letter and when she saw Nat she felt at once that whether he was a genius or not, here was a lonely, sick boy who needed just what she loved to give, a home and motherly care. Mrs. Briar is telling, I don't want to know whether he is genius or not. Now at present he needs a home and motherly care that I can provide him a home, a home to live and a mother's love. That is what, that is what this little boy is needed and he needs now that the two things Mrs. Briar is telling her, a home and motherly care. Why? The boy is lonely. He has no one, lonely and he is sick. Lonely and sick. So I will give him a home and motherly care. Both she and Mr. Briar observed him quietly. They both were observing, they both were noticing him. And they saw much about Nat that pleased them. So all these things. When Mr. Briar and Mrs. Briar saw Nat, his behavior, the dealing, his dealings, they both liked. They were impressed with the boy. They were pleased with him. Pleased means happy. He was a thin. His structure, his figure. His figure was very thin. He was very thin. Pale boy. Pale. Pale means his altogether he was um, very weak and white in color. Pale color. No sign of blood on his face. Pale. Of twelve. So now the author is revealing the age of Nat. He is a 12 year boy with the blue eyes. He was having beautiful blue eyes and good forehead. Good forehead, forehead under the rough neglected hair. Rough hair. He was not combing his hair. He was not taking bath. Neglected care, hair. Neglected. Nobody is there to take care of him. He was not combing his hair altogether. A careless look. A weak boy of 12. An anxious, scared face. Anxious. Anxious means worried. Anxious. A-N-X-I-O-U-S. Anxious. Worried. He was altogether worried. He was very anxious. Worried, scared face. Scared means frightened face. A sensitive mouth. A sensitive mouth. He was very sensitive towards that. that is what we see in the beginning of the lesson. He ran to the boy, Tommy.
when he had fallen from the banister uh, handrail. He was very sensitive. Sensitive mouth that trembled with a kind glance fell on him. He was too sensitive. When all of them were looking at him, he started shivering. He was frightened. He was scared. Glance means look fell on him while a gentle speech called up a look of gratitude. Very sweet to see. Bless the poor dear. He shall fiddle all day if he likes, said Mrs. Briar to herself. Mrs. Briar. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just explaining to you the word meaning of gratitude. Gratitude means gratitude. G R A T I T U D. Gratitude means thankfulness or thankful. Thankful. He was altogether thankful towards them for the kindness and love they were pouring on him. And Mrs. Briar was telling to herself, what? Bless the poor dear. He shall fiddle all day if he likes. Fiddle means fiddle. The meaning of fiddle is violin. He will play play violin all the day. Fiddle. Fiddle means violin. Fiddle. She is telling to herself that all day he will fiddle if he likes. Said Mrs. Briar to herself. So all together, Mr. Briar and Mrs. Briar is making him comfort comfortable there. And by receiving the kindness and love, the poor boy started to tremble. He was shivering altogether because in his life he had never received this much attention and love from others. So after supper, when the lads flocked into the schoolroom for more hijinks, Mrs. Joe appeared with a violin in her hand and went to Nat who sat in a corner. So they all had the dinner, supper and after supper when the lads, lads means when the boys flocked into the school room, they all ran to the school room for more hijinks. Hijinks means noisy fun. Hijinks. H-I-G-H. Hijinks. J-I-N-K-S. J I N K S. Hijinks means more fun. They for more fun, all the boys ran to the school building or school room. And that time, Mrs. Joe appeared with a violin. She came with a violin in her hand and went to Nat, who was sitting in a corner. So after dinner or after supper, Nat was sitting in a corner, and Mrs. Briar is going to him with a violin. She went to, it, went to him and he, she gave the violin to the boy. Now my lad, give us a little tune. Now my boy, give, us, give me a little tune. Little tune here means now you can play the violin. We want a violin in our band. We are liking a boy who plays violin in our band. Band. Band means music troupe. And I think you will do it nicely. And I'm sure that you can do it in a best way. She expected that he would hesitate. She thought that he would hesitate. Hesitate means she he will say no, 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 I can't, ma'am, I can't, ma'am. She, she will hesitate. But he seized the old fiddle at once. As Mrs. Briar was taking the violin, she he seized the old fiddle. He seized it, he took it by force at once and handled it with a, such a loving care. And he took it with a, with a so lovingly, with a, take, uh, with a lot of care. It was plain to see that music was his passion. So Mrs. Briar understood that Music was his passion. What do you mean by music was his passion? He loved music. We, he loved music. We all will love one thing or the other. The hobbies which we have in our life. Some of us 
love to play cricket some of us love to play basketball play basketball some love like piano or casio or uh, other games or some uh, paintings drawings dancing so here we come to get to know that music was his passion he loved music very much i will do the best i can ma'am was all he said he said ma'am i will do my best i can tell you that i i will do the best and then drew the bow across the strings and he started playing as if eager to hear the dear notes again so after long years and in the others has not mentioned when did he lost the violin and we don't know how many months or how many years after the boy is touching the violin so when he got the violin he started to play the dear notes again because music was his passion there was a great clatter in the room there is a loud clatter great clatter clatter means noise but nat played softly to himself he did not mind the noise which was going on around him he did not bother about that he was not telling stop 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 no nothing he said he started playing forgetting everything in his delight he forgot everything he forgot the surroundings everything he started playing because it was his passion delight it was his happiness he started playing gradually the boys came nearer and nearer slowly slowly by hearing the music the boys started coming nearer and nearer to him and mr briar came up to watch the boy mr briar also came to see the boy how well the boy plays nat played away and never minded anyone he and no Mr Briar came Mrs Briar came all the boys of the school came he was never bothering he did not mind them he continued playing that played away and never minded anyone and he hugged the old fiddle he hugged the old fiddle he he embraced the old fiddle he hugged the fiddle fiddle means violin and made it speak made it speak made it speak means it started playing the music again made it speak to all their hearts the language that he loved all their hearts the language that he loved what was the language he uh, that he loved music was the language that he loved a hearty round of applause rewarded him better than a shower of pennies when he stopped so while when he stopped playing the violin there was a hearty round of applause applause means clapping and he felt that it is better than a thousand so money or pennies i get he was much impressed with the, the way the children appreciated him the children they all were appreciated they all were happy with with the performance of this boy nat So when in the class when you perform something when your friends give you a loud applause or clapping how great we would become the same feeling the little boy was having i say you do that first rate cried tommy tommy his best friend in the plumfield school he said i know that you will do your best tommy was very happy you shall be the first fiddle in my band now i have selected you in my band you will play violin in my band added franz franz said another boy franz said you will be the first fiddle in my band band means music troop with an approving smile with an approving smile approving means positive approving a double p R O V I N G approving approving means with a smile with a smile the another boy Frank said I have taken you I have selected you in my music troupe in my band it was too much for that that could not digest it it was too much for him he was um, with uh, so much of appreciation the boy receiving this kind of appreciation in his life for the first time so together it was. 
too much for him more feeble than he knew he started becoming weak weaker and weaker feeble f w e b l e feeble means weak as and as the final shout died away final shout died away shout means clapping talking when everything was stopped his face began to work his face began to work now he came to the uh, situation surrounding this much time he was not bothering the surroundings what he was doing what others were telling nothing he was you no know, bothering now he started he began to, he started become um, conscious conscious he dropped the fiddle he dropped the violin violin he put it down and turning to the wall and he turned towards the wall and sobbed like a little child sobbed s o b b l b e d sobbed means he cried like a little boy now we know the feeling of nat why he might have cried what was the reason for his crying the reason for his crying was he was getting all kinds of love appreciation from others and this poor boy is getting in his life for the first time that is what he cried he cried he sobbed like a little child my dear what is it asked mrs briar now mrs briar asked him, my dear what are you doing why are you crying now she asked him you are all so kind and it is so beautiful i can't help it what was the reason of his his crying he is telling that you are all so kind to me you are showing too much kindness to me and it's so beautiful i love it this kind of kindness i love it it's so beautiful and i can't help it now i can only cry i can't do anything else but i can only cry so dinner and he continued his crying coughing till he was breathless coughing after while he was crying he was coughing 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 while he was breathless till he get uh, he was not able to take breath that much time he cried and he coughed why he coughed the reason is he is telling that you are all so kind and it's so beautiful in my life i am receiving i am for the first time i am receiving this much of appreciation this is so beautiful that's the reason i was crying this is all about the story of nat how he was admitted to plumfield school with all his limitation so we may, we came to know that in the beginning of the lesson i told you it was a special kind of school plumfield was a special kind of school now you might have understood what kind of children they admit in the school the children who are the street boys the orphan children the children who those are no one the poor the ugly not the beautiful ones ugly so these kind of children they were admitting in the plumfield school now you can have the have a note of page number 17 page number 17 i already explained to you and you can just have a note of page number 18 page number 18 so here uh, the uh, lesson is coming to an end there are few question i would like to ask you the question is how many boys were there in plumfield school you are not near me so i can't ask you so there were all together 12 boys between whom was nat made to sit during supper during supper between whom did nat made uh, did nat was to made sit during supper you may be knowing the answer between teddy and tommy banks so teddy on the left side and tommy on the right side and uh, this nat was sitting in the middle of them how did each of these people make nat comfortable so how they were making him comfortable by asking him few questions or by smiling or by looking at him they were making him very comfortable okay so this is the uh, lesson i want to explain to you uh, please listen to my listen my class 
and in the next class i will come with the exercise of some exercises of this lesson um, question answers everything uh, please listen my class thank you for uh, listening me hearing me and uh, as the moral of this lesson be sympathetic towards the poor and sick thank you thank you bye bye